go hey hello all good morning hope you are doing well okay and in the last session we had a discussion about like multi-threading and blocking and we have taken an example of a tomcat server which is following multi-threads and uh, blocking nature and we have some problem because if you have hundreds of thousands of requests and each thread is blocking for some time until the execution is completed it's going to be the performance issue because if you have lacks of request and uh, we have 100 to 200 threads okay fine and if it is not able to handle all the requests and we should go and uh, add more servers and more threads so it, it will go in another direction so now today we are going to talk about node.js and node.js is going to handle everything with a single thread okay if tomcat server is not handling things with 200 threads um, but how node.js will handle all the things with one thread okay that is a super interesting concept so hopefully you will enjoy so let's start the, the discussion now okay i'm just uh, stopping my video and I will share my screen I'm sharing my screen okay just give me a confirmation that uh, are you able to see my screen everyone oh, um, yes sir okay thank you so just this is a database or we can call it as a kitchen for just understanding this example what we have discussed already so this is db in this example we can call it as a kitchen okay and we need a server web server that is very very important so it should it will handle everything it will handle everything so what it is it is a web server or or in the real like real like in a hotel room you can say that server room or servers room okay they will handle all the request so request so we are taking some tables or we can call it as a clients okay we will get some request from the clients so what we understood i hope if you are watching this video if you didn't watch the previous video please go and watch that video and come back so that you will understand what we are discussing okay so threads suppose if you go with a tomcat server or any other server it is just remember those are multi threading and blocking multi threading at the same time blocking this is very very important we should understand what is a blocking and what is a multi threading so multi threading it's a simple thing like we have the servers or we can call it as a who is responsible for serving the clients okay suppose tomcat server can have maximum for one server 200 or maybe we can increase i'm not sure about that because i didn't work in java but we can increase but we can even if you want uh, increase the performance we can add more servers and we can increase that um, threads to a maximum extent so but here each and every thread suppose if you give any request to the the thread which is following multi okay, which is following the blocking nature it will go and simply it will busy it will busy until you got the response from the server until we got the response from the server until we got the response from the server suppose in this example so if one person has given order suppose um, five rotis five roti and uh, some sabji okay. some sabji so to prepare that to prepare that it will take minimum 30 minutes suppose for example minimum 30 minutes so this thread will be busy and it will sit ideally this is very very Button. it will sit ideally at the kitchen for 30 minutes okay that's the problem it doesn't take any other, other request so again it will go suppose if new person came 
the new thread will go and it will wait at the kitchen so here we should understand that here this this thread is completely busy uh, until we got the response from other service server or some database or any other backend service so here this blocking this blocking nature this blocking nature is the biggest problem for us because we are wasting a lot of time just for waiting period okay that's the for waiting the till we got the response it is the it is waiting at the kitchen that's the biggest problem so now tell me everyone do you agree with me it's a problem or is it okay just say yes or no quick Block, blocking anedi problem is sir ante synchronization avadam valla prathi okkati one by one poram valla time taking process aitadi multi threading valla okay good now we can go with a single thread okay single thread so what 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 here here the story is very interesting if you we follow properly so again i'm just taking suppose just tell me suppose i have a restaurant i have a restaurant okay already we have discussed in the last thing like ragu's ragu's kitchen so i'm facing this problem can anyone tell me okay don't say that okay single thread or something uh, not only that if you have any other ideas to solve that problem uh, just give me some ideas okay just think in terms of kitchen only ragu's kitchen and these people are just uh, sitting ideally for that so how to solve that problem in real time suppose just imagine this is ragu's kitchen ragu's kitchen okay now tell me any idea meeru oka vela meek restaurant unde meer ilanti problem face chesthe meer em decision teesukuntar that's that's the important thing right we should learn yeah tell me quickly so meeru if you have 10 servers like 10 people are there okay they are going to kitchen and they are waiting till the food is prepared that's why the problem so what you will do no okay i'm just giving 30 seconds to you if you have an idea tell me otherwise i will trust it <clears throat> i'm ask i'm not asking about the server i'm just asking about the restaurant okay we got the answer i will ask the server to take another order until the food is prepared and the waiter should not wait until food is ready he has to pass information and should come back <clears throat> yes that's perfect simple solution right simple solution suppose this what's what's happening here he is just waiting at the kitchen is waiting at the kitchen for 30 minutes okay we should instruct him okay don't wait at the kitchen just pass that information to the uh, cook or kitchen people and come back and go and take the other request okay but here in real time in real time lots of things we need to uh, discuss because we can't simply because uh, we can't simply convert all this uh, blocking threads uh, to um, non blocking okay there are lot of things we need to discuss so here another problem is there another problem is there another problem is there suppose if we do that if we just simply go and uh, provide the order and come back but we should have a mechanism uh, to do other things okay once we discuss about the single thread and how that single thread is handling all these things and then then again we should come back here okay normally we thought that ragu yeah okay this is blocking nature this uh, tomcat servers are falling following the blocking nature just convert them into blocking to a not blocking it's it's going to be much more 
performance right anyway we are following multi thread okay we no need to go for a single thread because already we are maintaining the 200 threads that's perfect but the only problem is it is waiting at the server it is waiting at the kitchen it, it is waiting at the other services so if we solve this one problem it is going to be like 100 times faster but why java developers or the time code server all these people why they are not doing this now there is a really really interesting reason is there okay we should talk about that that's why just wait 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 once we understand uh, the single thread architecture which is following by the node.js then again we should come back here okay like sometimes we should play some screenplay so that it will be interesting okay now tell me one more time are you ready to learn how the single thread is going to be handle all this request just say yes, yes okay yes, i need voice everyone yes sir okay fantastic yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. now just watch this video for some motivation how single thread is working just tell just guess what is this magadira under people fight ah magadira magadira fight one single hero he will handle han multiple multiple requests. people multiple requests. let's see for we can see for maximum one minute how ram charan will handle this 100 request at a time he's a single thread right no other threads are available for his side okay i sorry Kadi. Badi. Ay, picha se mar. Okay, this is fine. Like now you understand what is single thread, right? Just tell me what is single thread. One person should handle everything. Like Magadira. Let's see how Node.js will handle. Okay, how many of you love Magadira movie? Fully everyone, right? Okay, fine. So now just concentrate on our Node.js. Okay, what we are thought Node.js. have only one thread only one person is there only one person is there to handle all the client requests okay so how what it will do what it will do so first suppose table one order is there just imagine a number wise like 1 2 3 or something whatever the order is there so first he will go he will take the because who will come first he will go and take the order and come back <clears throat> and he inform that information to the server and again and again he will go and take this take this take this take this it is like this he is just keep on collecting the requests and even if it is 100 requests 1000 request okay we'll just hand over to the server but now tell me okay fine he is just collecting the order from the clients and he is just hand over into the server and who is going to serve again who, we need to give a response also right because so suppose whatever it is suppose this uh, food order will take 20 minutes to complete it it suppose this person whatever he order it will take 10 minutes or the he, this person will take the 5 minutes the uh, 5 minutes like that okay so and this person takes 1 minute okay just imagine the random timings so here so for the first in within 1 minute within 1 minute the food will be ready 
uh, how to which box is good for food okay we can take that so food is ready food is ready and uh, food is ready food is ready like that is just keep on preparing the food and again who who is the responsible for just uh, sending a, a response to a clients again who is responsible tell me so understood what i'm talking okay collecting a request from collecting the request from client is the one one task one important thing collecting request but what he is doing collecting the request from this is the one so three things are involved one and second thing is he should pass that request information to the database or any other server the third thing is he should collect the prepared food and again he should send it back to the clients that is also proper client suppose if you take the order from this person you should give the same food item to that particular person only but just imagine is it really possible to handle all things by one person in real time in the hotel yeah he's saying three digits yes okay is it possible is it really possible with one person suppose as we discussed we started the restaurant we have faced some problem okay finally we decided that okay we can go with a single thread and we should not depend and we strictly informed him that okay don't sit ideally okay you should work like a robo and just collect the order don't take any rest just give it to the kitchen and uh, suppose do the same process and once the food is ready just take the food also and just send it back to the uh, proper client suppose if you don't have any orders okay fine no problem happily you can sit ideally but it will not happen in real time because once you build an application once you deploy it and once suppose if your hotel is very good and they got really good popularity normally on uh, the peak hours definitely the people will come and order okay now tell me just guess at how to handle this situation in uh, real time in a kitchen suppose if you have only one server and how to handle all these things any suggestions suppose it's a ragu's kitchen so if you give a right suggestion at least my business will be good otherwise it will be a big problem tell me you can explain me telugu hindi english malayalam anything i will try to ask google to translate that you can explain me anyone how to handle just imagine only one person is there he should be responsible for all the things is it really possible okay just think no it's not possible i think sir okay then how to solve that one because here the rule is okay we need one thread one thread because one person should handle all the things but if you want you can do some background work background something i'm just giving some clue yeah of course normal in real situation how you will handle yeah, tell me boy ta you should appoint some more members sir and that then kind of area wala na point yes okay for what yes that is that okay, that idea is good you are saying we should appoint for serving sir for serving different person for serving different persons okay to handle the request and all these things okay but to serving we need to handle we need to appoint few other persons okay yeah which one tell me you are trying to say something i don't know sir actually i i won't getting any idea about that actually. okay think for one more minute pavan tell me any suggestion how to solve this problem in our ragu's kitchen you are wish you can think anything and just give me some solution bala sweta okay fine already you said bavita and someone said that is the correct we should appoint few more people 
but here if we if we appoint few more people that will be a multi thread right okay if you appoint few more servers that again it will become a multi thread but without taking help from other people it's almost impossible to handle the request because we we can't expect that sometimes the request per minute will be 100 or 1000 also so it's 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 really really tough to handle all these things with one person complete all the work yes but here self service is uh, is there any concept like uh, self service self service mm, okay in the hotel we can say that self service so that they can collect the food from kitchen directly but uh, in a real time in a web web application it's not possible to do a self service because if you are using amazon you can't yeah practically it's not possible in web application but that's a good idea in a regular yeah. kitchen very good yeah very good even uh, varun also said yes self service like if you see most of the hotels they will do like uh, self service they will take the order one person will sit there right one person used to sit in the counter right one person is will sit at the counter and he will collect the money and he will give us some receipt right to you and you should go that means this client should go yeah but almost we are there okay client should go to the kitchen and he should collect the food but in a web application practically it's not possible because we can't send client directly to the database right it's not possible okay no think again think again okay yes in a, in a, in a real time that is a perfect suggestion not think in a way but because if this person is not able to because it's not possible for us to send him to the kitchen uh, then try for other solution in that critical problem come up with another idea You, you know the answer already but uh, because we are saying the single thread and uh, we used to think that only we should appoint only one person that holds no problem you can appoint other persons but how you are going to use them is the uh, uh, interesting like based on that we can decide yeah you can appoint other persons for for which task someone said collecting the request from the tables we can appoint few more people that is one idea i think someone said and uh, some uh, okay come up with some other ideas also we can go with which which one is the good one okay are preparing food <clears throat> sorry sorry tell me bala अदर पर्सेस से मानो मुकेश डाटाबेस ला पाएंगे उसमें डाटाबेस के लिए गिर लो ना प्रिपेयरिंग फूड हाँ प्रिपेयरिंग प्रिपेयरिंग फूड इज़ नॉट अ बिग डील वी वी डोंट हैव अ डिस्कशन अबाउट प्रिपेयरिंग फूड हाउ मेनी कुक्स आर देर हाउ मच स्टाफ इज़ इनसाइड द डेटाबेस वी डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम दैट्स नॉट द solve problem here or either try to solve the problem here because here also a single thread we can't change that okay we have two options if you appoint few people here what will happen if you appoint few people in between this what will happen yeah think in that way serving chair and key uh, extra person knee and i mean pro thread knee and a single thread tony request is coney सर्विस चेयरडान की इनको का पर्सन ने एडजस्टे अकड़ा माने कि सिंगल थ्रेड लाख ने वर्क होते थे नहीं ना आइडिया अकड़ा यू आर सेइंग दैट वी शुड ऐड सम अदर पर्सन हियर नो 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 इकड़ लाइक फ्रॉम हियर या बट यू आर सेइंग दैट टू कलेक्टिंग द ऑल द रिक्वेस्ट द सिंगल थ्रेड इज एनफ एंड ही इज गोइंग टू okay and this person will collect that food again and he will hand over to this person he will to he will distribute it right that's what you are yeah. saying yeah 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 okay okay 
fine any other 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 things of course that is also solved up to some extent the problem here just imagine just imagine just to appoint a person as a main server we need to give more money okay but doing a small task okay collect just giving it to the other people or carrying the food prepared food from the data like from the other services or database uh, again back to the service room or desk room it's not costly it's not costly so that you can appoint more people because this person should be educated he should able to speak in english hindi or telugu because he should handle all the in clients and if they say that food is not right proper and he should able to solve that problem so for that we need one thread but other other than that to just do a small small task which doesn't involve too much pressure or too much discussion we can appoint many people okay now hopefully you can give a right suggestion yeah go ahead okay i'll explain in telugu so manaki a main thread ni appoint cheyadaniki chaala double page cheyali endukante అతను సపోజ్ ఒక క్లయింట్ వచ్చాడు ఫుడ్ ఒకరు ఆర్డర్ చేశాడు వాడు వెజ్ బిర్యానీ ఆర్డర్ చేస్తే మీరు పొరపాటున చికెన్ బిర్యానీ పార్సల్ పంపించారనుకోండి వాడు వచ్చి గొడవ పెట్టుకుంటాడు సో వాటితో మీరు డిస్కస్ చేయాలి సో దానికి ఒక మెచ్యూర్డ్ పర్సన్ లేకపోతే ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ పర్సన్ అయి ఉండాలి అతను అట్లీస్ట్ టూ త్రీ లాంగ్వేజ్ మాట్లాడగలగాలి ఎందుకంటే ఆ వచ్చిన క్లయింట్ హిందీలో మాట్లాడి వీడికి ఓన్లీ తెలుగు వచ్చిందని తెలుగు మాత్రమే వచ్చు అనుకోండి ఇట్స్ అ ప్రాబ్లమ్ దట్స్ వై హోటల్ పీపుల్ విల్ పే మోర్ ఫర్ సర్వర్స్ హూ విల్ డూ ఆల్ దీస్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీస్ అలా కాకుండా మీరు టేబుల్ని క్లీన్ చేసేవాళ్ళు లేకపోతే సర్వ కిచెన్లోకి వెళ్ళి అక్కడ ఉన్న ఫుడ్ ఐటమ్స్ తీసుకొచ్చి డిస్ట్రిబ్యూట్ చేసే వాళ్ళకి ఎక్కువ శాలరీస్ ఉండవు సో దట్స్ నాట్ అ బిగ్ డీల్ సో యూ క్యా యూ క్యాన్ అపాయింట్ దోస్ పీపుల్ అండ్ యూ క్యాన్ హ్యాండిల్ ద సిచ్యువేషన్ నౌట్ నౌ టెల్ మీ ఐ హోప్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఆల్సో ఓకే people where we can't pay more we we should not pay for okay ravalika said adding single threading to every single request and also sender no it, it's not possible ravalika because if you appoint suppose just imagine so suppose if you appoint one thread for each and every request in suppose amazon is there so at a time like within a minute if you got uh, like when we have a sale a uh, big discount at the time lakhs of people send a request to the server at the time we can't uh, <laughs> provide 1 lakh threads it's not possible it's not possible okay can you tell me it's you already have explained the answer just okay understand what i said and hopefully you can give a right answer సార్ మెయిన్ పర్సన్ కింద కొందరు పర్సన్స్ అపాయింట్ చేసుకోవాలి బట్ మెయిన్ పర్సన్ మాత్రం ఒక్కరే ఉంటారు ఆ ఆ ఓకే ఆ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు అపాయింట్ చేసి మెయిన్ పర్సన్ వచ్చి ఆ కంటిన్యూ కంటిన్యూ మెయిన్ పర్సన్ వచ్చేసి అన్ని మెయింటైన్ చేస్తారు ఏమేం కావాలో సో వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళ అపాయింట్ చేసిన పర్సన్ కి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇస్తే మెయిన్ పర్సన్ వాళ్ళు టాస్క్ చేస్తారు బట్ పర్సన్ మెయిన్ గా అయితే ఒక్కరే ఓకే ఫంటాస్టిక్ దట్స్ వెరీ గుడ్ బట్ జస్ట్ టెల్ మీ హౌ యు విల్ యుటిలైజ్ ఆ non main persons assistants okay we have a conclusion that okay at any cost we can't appoint one more main person but you can appoint assistants but where you will use those assistants that is very important we have two options here or here or both places 
किचन ला सर किचन ओके किचन आई एम सेइंग यू कैन अपॉइंट एन नंबर ऑफ कुक्स दैट इज नॉट अ बिग डील ओके आवर प्रॉब्लम इज टू प्रोवाइड बेटर सर्विस टू द क्लाइंट दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट okay cooks i'm i i have i will give a full budget so if you are, if you have if you want 10 cooks or 10 15, 15 cooks cooks okay but food preparation food preparation purpose we don't have any problem i can i can give enough budget to that and uh, i will appoint n number of people you no need to worry about that the only you need to think about this box up to this box giving request information to the kitchen and collecting the food from the kitchen and handovering it to the clients that's the only thing you should worry about so already you said like yeah we we can appoint few more assistants right but where we should use them if okay if we use them here it will be effective or if we use them here it will be more effective or if you appoint few people here and few people here it will be more effective what, what is your idea yeah just think if you appoint few people here how we, how much performance we can improve if you appoint few people here how much performance we can improve like that just think in that way and just decide which place is good sir ante okade side manam assign cheskochu lekapothe two sides ni manam assign cheskochu you your wish your wish just just think in that uh, restaurant way then we can sync with a uh, node js okay um it will kitchen and third sir aha uh-huh. and also sir sorry sir tell me where red red key kitchen ki madhyalo people ki assistance na pan jayal sir okay ikkada sir mane ante kitchen avasa red nunchi request teesukovali malli aa information kitchen lo pass chesi ready ayina order ni malli teesukeli red ke return cheyali okay who said this priority ओके మళ్ళీ కిచెన్ లో రెడీ అయిన ఆర్డర్ ని తీసుకెళ్లి మళ్ళీ థ్రెడ్ కి రిటర్న్ చేయాలి ఓకే ఫంటాస్టిక్ ఓకే వాట్ బాలా ఇస్ సేయింగ్ నా వాట్ బాలా ఇస్ సేయింగ్ ఓకే రగు జస్ట్ అపాయింట్ ఫ్యూ పీపుల్ హియర్ ఓకే బట్ యు కెన్ గెట్ దెమ్ ఫర్ లెస్ కాస్ట్ కంపేర్డ్ టు దిస్ థ్రెడ్ సో జస్ట్ హ్యాండ్ ఓవర్ బికాజ్ దిస్ థ్రెడ్ దిస్ థ్రెడ్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ డిస్కసింగ్ విత్ ద క్లయింట్స్ అండ్ సెండింగ్ ద రెస్పాన్స్ ఆల్సో what is saying simply suppose this person this person is there this person is there he once the client came just collect the order and hand over to this people whoever is available suppose five people or 10 people whatever it is hand over it to them and again go to this person hand over it to them this person hand over it to them hand over it to them hand over it to them yeah okay what these people need to do now suppose yes bala you are said absolutely correct absolutely correct so just give a simple clap to bala that is a simple solution na but of course maybe your other su- suggestions also definitely matter uh, if valid in a restaurant way but whatever the suge- whatever bala suggested it is perfectly same thing what no j is, do- is doing that's why i'm saying okay just give some appreciation to bala claps or anything that's what because if you see just you should think in a better way because you can't learn everything in a classroom you can't learn everything in uh, while doing practice okay you should do logical thinking just observe the thing what is happening in surrounding in the world and just learn from that so management skills or innovations because we we can't uh, make elon musk or um, 
Steve Jobs or Bill Gates in a classroom. It's not possible. Okay, 98% is from their own logical thinking. Okay, very good, very good, fantastic. Of course, almost everyone is given a right solution for Raghu's kitchen, and but unfortunately, those are that is not using by a uh, Node.js. Okay, that doesn't mean your idea is wrong. Your idea is correct, absolutely correct. But the only thing is, what Bala said. That is absolutely apted for Node.js. Now here, what is doing? I will conclude it. So Node.js, we have a single thread, and they have appointed child threads. So here, like child labor. Okay, normally we should not use child labor, but what this Node.js is doing now? Many people are there here. Okay. You don't need to worry about how many number of people are there. That's you can do it. If you want to improve performance, you can just uh, create multiple uh, child threads what we can call uh, I forgot the terminology mm, this is a thread and this is okay I, I will tell you on okay, once I recollect it so for now you just imagine these are the child threads these are um, less costly less costly fine okay okay what what is the responsibility we have given to this people okay just collect the order from collect the order from the client this main thread will collect the order from the client and he will hand over to this people he they will hand over to this people okay this main thread will hand over to this people this person like this is magadira magadira and he have other uh, assistant uh, fighters are there okay he will hand over this to this people and the responsibility of these trail threads is go and collect just give the request token to a server like database or any other service fine and these also doesn't sleep there okay whether doesn't matter because these are very less costly whether he will go and sleep there or come back really doesn't matter for us because we have we can create multiple multiple threads with a less cost okay we should inform them that don't don't sleep at the kitchen just go and give the token information to the kitchen and come back and wait here and once this uh, the main uh, thread will give other another information other token just go there here one more thing is there one more interesting thing is there suppose if you see okay fine these people are giving the uh, order information to the kitchen and once order is ready he, people suppose imagine here 10 persons are there 10 people are there okay 10 people are provided in pass the token to the kitchen and uh, food items are ready food items are ready so here the problem is another problem is okay while this token this thread is busy to collecting the information and uh, passing this to this suppose is just collected information about the fifth client and is trying to give the information that information to these people okay, at the time here food is ready food is ready for three clients so this person whether he should take the first person response or second person response or third person response on which order we should collect it so can you suggest any idea here because um, you will get conflict right suppose 10 persons are there everyone is saying that okay uh, Magadira could, could you please uh, I have I brought the um, food item first I brought the food item first I brought the food item first please take my food order first so how it sh we should handle that this is a simple problem but how we should handle that do you have any other suggestions so if you didn't understand what I'm explaining I, I will try to explain in Telugu so great priority based uh, priority based selection very good like, uh, who, cares, who come first who then who serve the uh, they he need to serve first okay okay here two things are there very good very good you are saying that priority based priority based very good so here two things are there because in in two ways we will decide the priority whether the priority we should give it for who ordered first Okay, who ordered first and which order got the preparation first because suppose you have given this person has given uh, rumal five rotis and one butter chicken 
this person just order only ice cream okay ice cream so he, he went to this person first and he just handed over a token to that child right and again he came back to this uh, this table and he has just taken that information passed down that information to these people okay just naturally what will happen the ice cream will come first okay ice cream will come first that means order two will come first and order one will come later so now tell me whether we need to give a priority for for the first order or second order this is order this is prepared understood my question whether we need to give a priority for who has given order first or we should give a high priority to send it back to the client based on whose food is prepared first prepared yes sir prepared prepared everyone yes sir yes absolutely right because because this is we need to improve our business so if already ice cream is ready we, we should not wait until this uh, butter chicken and other things should be ready right so whichever the food is ready we should send it back very good very good very good here we understand two things one is we have a main thread and we need some people to help that is the first important thing we should understand in a node.js architecture and the second thing so whichever the request is completed whichever the request is completed okay that response we should send it back to the client first so here here but how to handle that how to handle that how to handle that okay that is perfect that is perfect so we need so this uh, thread is there he's saying that okay are 10 people please do one thing please do one thing whichever order is there whichever order is prepared first okay put there in some place okay because suppose the order 3 is completed okay just bring that food suppose imagine this order 3 this is order 3 okay just order three. put it here whichever completed first and if order six is completed so you don't need to worry about me you don't need to discuss with me just put all these things one place so then order one is completed okay just put in some now, now tell me whether it is a stack or a queue where he's saying that just put everything in one place okay whether we can go with a stack or a queue Stack. Stack or queue. Oh, now tell me first. Go to the fundamental. What is the difference between the stack and queue? <coughs> stack means uh, so which collects first and serve the last. Okay. Queue means. Uh, queue means uh, first in, first out. Okay. Very good. Fantastic. Now tell me, which is the best thing here? Stack or queue? So we should. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course, uh, we will choose for stack because uh, if we serve uh, for first and uh, I mean if we take the order first and uh, give the serve first, it will take the time. But if we follow the stack wise, it will follows the uh, priority based. Okay, fine. Don't worry. We will take both examples. Okay both the examples stack what is the stack follows just tell me rule first in last out right in last out first in last out q first in first in first out first out. so successfully here we have given priority for which person which food is prepared first we should serve first, right? Got it? That's what we have discussed now. Ever that the food first to prepare, I ready got on to Ready, how are going to work? Or get Fast, the client get chayali. That means. So suppose if you put that in a first in last out, what will happen? Okay, first prepared item is here. Second prepared item is here. 
third prepared item is here fourth prepared item is here and fifth prepared item here and sir stack and the last in first out sir okay last in first out or first in last out almost same right just think again first in ante this person this is first in and definitely this person is the last out again last in last in and first out both sense the same thing right what is the difference last in first out no sir actually in the stack if we see ante oka manamu cd la stack ni assign cheskunte last unnadi manam theyalemu only top of the stack we can see ledante penli lo plate lo untai you are correct kinda theyalem kada meer isthamu first ante print cheyali manam ippudu manam em cheyali ah top order lo unnadi iskovali top lo unnadi mathrame iskovali kinda theesukolem సో సపోజ్ ఇప్పుడు చూడండి ఫస్ట్ ఆర్డర్ వచ్చింది ఈ ఫస్ట్ ఆర్డర్ నువ్వు సపోజ్ రెడీ అయిపోయింది ఏంటి ఐస్ క్రీమ్ ఓకే సెకండ్ ఆర్డర్ సపోజ్ సూప్ ఓకే సో ఇప్పుడు ఐస్ క్రీమ్ వచ్చింది ఓకే ఈ తర్వాత ఇక్కడ బిర్యానీ వచ్చింది సపోజ్ ఆ థ్రెడ్ ఆ మెయిన్ థ్రెడ్ అనేది ఒక టూ సెకండ్స్ తర్వాత ఇప్పుడు ఒక టూ మినిట్స్ తర్వాత ఫ్రీ అయ్యాడు అప్పుడు తను వచ్చాడు ఏంటి ఓకే ఎవరెవరు ఉన్నారు ఆ ఫుడ్ ఏవైతే ప్రిపేర్ అయిందో నేను ఇప్పుడు ఇచ్చేస్తాను అంటాడు ఇచ్చేస్తాను అంటాడు ఓకే అప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి ఇది తీసుకొని పంపించాలా లేకపోతే వీని పంపించాలా ఫస్ట్ నార్మల్గా ఏది ఫస్ట్ ప్రిపేర్ అయిపోయింది రెడీగా ఉంది ఇప్పుడు విత్ ఫస్ట్ ఇన్ లాస్ట్ అవుట్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపెన్ ఈ విల్ ఓకే మీరు ఇది ఈ ఫాలో ఈ మెథడాలజీ ఫాలో అయ్యాడు అనుకోండి ఓకే ఫైన్ అతను ఏం చేశాడు బిర్యానీ పాస్ చేశాడు ఆ తర్వాత ఏదో బటర్ రొట్టీ ఇచ్చింది అది పాస్ చేశాడు సో ఆ తర్వాత ఏమైపోయింది ఇంకొక ఆర్డర్ వచ్చింది ఇంకొక ఆర్డర్ వచ్చింది అది మళ్ళీ ఇక్కడ పుష్ చేసావు ఇంకొక ఆర్డర్ వచ్చింది మళ్ళీ పుష్ చేసావు సో ఈతను మళ్ళీ హీ కేమ్ ఆఫ్టర్ సమ్ టైమ్ బికాస్ ఈ బికాస్ ద సింగిల్ థ్రెడ్ నీడ్ టు రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ కలెక్టింగ్ ద రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆల్సో రైట్ వీ వీ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ ద మెయిన్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ so he is sometimes he is busy with collecting the request and hand over it to the threads and once okay once he understand that okay once the food is ready and again he will collect come to this room and he will collect the food and he will return to the clients so at that time if you follow this approach sometimes if if the ice cream was prepared already half an hour back and if you push that thing in the first here and if you see, if you follow first in last out what will happen almost sometimes you can't serve this ice cream also by end of the day also understood my point oh yes sir it took lots yes, of time lot of time right so but mero if you go to the tirupati what will follow first in first out or last in first out last lo ochinadiki first lo ticket listara first lo ochinadiki first ticket listara first in first out yeah if you go to the theater if you go to the anything anything even in restaurant ఓకే రెస్టారెంట్ లో కూడా మీరు నిలుచున్నారు అనుకోండి ఇద్దరు ఒకటే ఐటమ్ ఆర్డర్ చేశారు వాడు ఐస్ క్రీమ్ ఆర్డర్ చేశాడు వీడు ఐస్ క్రీమ్ ఆర్డర్ చేశాడు వాడు ఐస్ క్రీమ్ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్కి వచ్చింది నీ ఐస్ క్రీమ్ టూ మినిట్స్ లో వచ్చింది ప్రాబ్లం రైట్ వాట్ వీ నీట్ ఫాలో వాట్ వీ నీట్ ఫాలో ద బెస్ట్ అప్రోచ్ ఓకే సో ఫెంటాస్టిక్ వీ కవర్డ్ థర్డ్ పాయింట్ ఆల్సో అనదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ దేర్ హియర్ another important thing is there okay we are we are maintaining one queue here queue here we are maintaining one queue here what is that queue can anyone tell me in a node js term what is that queue we can call it as a task queue okay but here in node js we can call it as a event queue okay there's a queue so so first thread responsibility is to collect the request from the clients and hand over it to the child threads uh, this child threads responsibility is collect the token from the thread and need to hand over to the kitchen 
and another responsibility for these threads is once the food is ready you should push that food item into this queue okay then the last uh, two two more things are there two more stages are there so then this this person is there right this person who is this person this uh, uh, single thread is there single thread so he this single thread person single thread person the superhero need to need to take that information which is there in that queue and he need to pass the response to the clients but here here okay he has appointed one more person to handle this one can anyone guess what is the name of this so he has appointed one more person one more person what is his responsibility na once the food is ready if it is there in a queue and he should observe that okay whenever this thread is free because okay he has he got 100 orders he has collected 100 orders quickly and he is hand out to that these people and whenever he is free and this person need to think that okay hey, hey magadira already lot of items are there lot of people are coming in the again okay and he will so for example restaurant thing okay of food items are ready so just please uh, deliver this one deliver this one deliver this one so just tell me can anyone guess it what is it what is it what is it you yeah, already in, in you already learned learn javascript and javascript architecture who will do this process event loop sir fantastic what is that what is that event loop Suppose event loop if you didn't learn javascript if you didn't understand okay if you didn't go through all these things it's not possible to guess the answer the, what is that that is a event loop event loop so with the help of this thread okay we have only one thread with the help of this shell threads with the help of this event queue with the help of this event loop this node js is able to handle hundreds thousands lakhs of requests successfully in an asynchronous way so we have only one thread one thread and non blocking non blocking so if you see here you can't waste even a single second also this main thread is busy to collect the information from the clients and he will hand over to the child threads and these child threads whenever the request is there from the this thread and he will collect that information and he will hand over to the kitchen and once the food is prepared okay whether these child threads or okay, of course these child threads will collect that food and they will push into the event queue and this event loop is there event loop event loop is there event loop is always waiting is the only one task what he will do whenever whenever this thread is free whenever this thread is free he will push this callbacks what are these things food prepared right in terms of node js those are callback functions callback functions so he will collect these things and he will push into that now you should understand that you should understand that what is a thread means what is a thread means we have in a javascript engine we have one thing what is that can anyone guess it can anyone guess it what is that in javascript engine we have only one thing which is responsible for executing things whenever you invoke the function it will do something whenever you invoke function it will do something call stack is there right do you remember yes sir okay so right now don't worry don't try to integrate all these things but simply just think about the node js now i will draw this diagram cleanly in a separate okay what is that simply node node js architecture so we can take the big box now okay this is the kitchen okay no no, no. small kitchen is enough for us clients no problem magadira can handle 100 people or 1000 people or 1 lakh people whatever it is okay our superheroes is there here we have a single thread single thread single thread single thread okay in the background what are there we have multiple small threads okay small threads i'm just defining like this okay you can appoint 10 members or 20 members that is fine that's fine another important thing is what is that queue event queue event queue or callback queue or task queue whatever you can call it. event queue is there event queue is there 
and the super important thing is event loop okay event loop so now just put this one line here so that you will understand clearly so that here one person is the single thread is responsible for just collecting the request and sending the response okay here client you should only discuss with the thread you don't need to worry about what is happening with the event loop and all this stuff we don't we don't need to worry about that he will be hand he will be responsible for collecting the request and sending the response also sending the response also he is the responsible person but in the background okay there are three important concepts are helping him one is the child thread child threads child threads another one is queue okay here we can call it as an event queue event queue is nothing but okay callback queue so super and the superhero another superhero is event loop event loop event loop okay fantastic this is okay this is the database and uh, our kitchen can you tell me understood everyone or not understood everyone or not yes sir yes sir i need answer i need voice from yes, the one understood 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 okay in the initial discussion we had a discussion about multi threading and blocking okay now tell me if you want to create any application whether you will go with a single thread approach or multi thread approach or non blocking tell me the simple okay, i will i will ask a question so i will simplify that question suppose in the server side we have two superheroes are there one is a java another one is nodejs okay nodejs so if you build a web server okay this is a server if you just use the web server with the help of java that is okay most of already ready made uh, servers are all there already there the tomcat server here you need to create your own your own server okay i will discuss in detail about that but here here it is a single thread and non blocking okay here java it is multi thread suppose minimum minimum 100 multi thread and blocking okay now suppose if you want to build an application suppose which server you will decide which server you will prefer tell me now whether you will go with yes. node.js or whether you will go with the java node.js okay how many votes for node.js tell me just ping me in the chat okay suppose 10 students are there let's see how many students will go with the node js how many students will go with the java bavita you said java i will go you will go with the multi thread okay fine yes sir at least we got one vote for that so far 1 2 3 4 5 sweta said java okay okay we got and tell me the reason also okay So okay, so far I think how many people responded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven students responded. Seven students responded. Seven out of seven, five votes for Node.js and two votes for Java. Okay. And Bavita and Swetha, just tell me why you will prefer the multi-threading and blocking. సర్ మల్టీ థ్రెడ్డింగ్ లో ఒక్క థ్రెడ్ ఫెయిల్యూర్ అయినా ఒక్క థ్రెడ్ కి ప్రాబ్లం వచ్చినా అక్కడ వరకే ప్రాబ్లం ఉంటది అది సింగిల్ థ్రెడ్ లో అయితే మెయిన్ థ్రెడ్ కి ప్రాబ్లం వస్తే సిస్టం మొత్తం ఫెయిల్ అవుతుందనే ఉద్దేశంతో నేను మల్టీ థ్రెడ్ అని చెప్పాను ఓకే వెరీ గుడ్ బట్ యువర్ యువర్ థింకింగ్ ఇస్ ఫంటాస్టిక్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యు హావ్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లం విత్ వన్ థ్రెడ్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యు అపాయింటెడ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ పర్సన్ యాజ్ అ సర్వర్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ హి ఫేస్ సమ్ హెల్త్ ఇష్యూస్ ఇఫ్ హి ఇఫ్ హి ఇఫ్ హి డోంట్ కమ్ టు ద హోటల్ ఓ రియలీ రియలీ ఆసమ్ ఆసమ్ థింగ్ బట్ don't worry don't worry node just never fails okay 
okay no just never fail okay maybe in the hotel that's perfect maybe your your answer is correct but here in no js no js never fails okay now tell me which one is good or sweta just tell me you also given java in the same perspective or do you have any other idea ఇంకా I was working with the node.js but I don't know exactly what is the importance of node.js in when we should choose a node.js or when we should choose a java or something it's it's we should learn all these things okay so with that reasoning suppose if you feel that if suppose one thread fails we have a alternative so don't it will never happen okay now tell me which one is good after that conclusion which one is good i know like thing bavita and sweta learned java first from the btech first year or second year already they are, they fall in love with java so that it's very difficult to take the decision right no sir not like that ovala fail aithe main thread ane concept ane hotel ke example chapla sir nenu thread ke chapla very good now tell me i'm saying that if yes definitely that thread never fail okay in that situation uh all i think are uh, no changes no changes yes yeah thread never fails don't worry about that because that if that fail means we uh, even here also uh, if it if it if the, there is a chance that one thread fails it will automatically fail all 100 threads okay that's the operating system handles that so uh, it will never happen that one thread has failed and other threads are working properly it will never happen like that but of course we should discuss of course your your uh, Uh, thought process is really awesome okay but naturally okay no problem stick with a uh, java only but here we got more words for node js okay more words for node js but now tell me suppose if we solve that problem suppose sweta said or bavita said okay if suppose one thread fails what the problem suppose i'm saying if doesn't happen yes that is a surety i'm giving so now tell me do you want to change the opinion to the node js or still you want to go with the java only if thread never fails okay bavita sir java said no yes sir no yes sweta what is your opinion yeah already i have said no sir if it doesn't uh, okay. uh, fails then i will go with it okay with that only one concern you have given a high priority for Okay, now tell me, what is the need of learning Java? Why we need to learn Java in 2023? Do you really we need to learn Java? Yes, sir. Why? Sir, Java concepts are all under sir. Okay, what is the use of those concepts? Node.js, in Node.js, in Node.js also we have many concepts, interesting concepts, more interesting like Bahubali or Triple or something. don't worry about the stories and uh, concepts but we need exact same point same uh, concepts untai gaane manaki java lo code ekku avutadi sir program rastuntadi yeah if you, yeah if you have a more code it will be a performance issue it's a negative thing ante objects uh, syntax wise koncham hard untadi sir java na varaki why okay no no here the, the point is sir the learning java is difficult or learning node js is difficult that doesn't matter but that is a learning curve so in real time suppose if you want to build applications if no js is working 100 times faster than uh, so tomcat server why we need to learn java that's the that's the point the main purpose of uh, using the java is uh, core reusability mm -hmm. because uh, the java provides the oops concept But even though uh, the javascript provides the uh, oops based but mm -hmm. this uh, java will uh, provides the core reusability and uh, some pre 
it's a garbage collection Usability. garbage collection okay yeah uh, and uh, the, it will co- yeah garbage collection okay. it is a wonderful feature to the java uh-huh. mm. and uh, flexibility uh, flexibility and uh, vora it is an it is an vora Okay. right once it we can execute uh, we can execute anywhere okay yeah. okay but but we can do everything with node js also okay no problem yeah oops comes means of providing a security or encapsulation abstraction all these things even though if yeah. you can't with- touch all these things uh, whatever the available things are in the node js that is more than enough to provide a security and all those things and the code reusability yes we can do with the garbage collection here also garbage collection flexibility here also flexibility now okay we need to understand one important thing so if you understand that then we will understand really in which situation we should go with a node.js and which situation we should go with the java because up to this point we will see that okay if node.js is working very fast why we need to learn java right not natural no no normally we will get the thought but java is a king okay java is the king java is a king okay not in terms of hoops not in terms of close raisability i'm saying uh, my explanation is not okay here of course we can do many things many many uh, programming features and all those things here but if you see here we should understand what thread will do actually what thread will do what is the responsibility of the thread and what is the risk if you do with a single thread that's the that's where we will understand okay almost that sweta said uh, sweta and uh, bavita said if something happened to the thread how to handle yes that is the right approach right thinking if something happened to the thread but what will happen but nev- thread never fails that is the one thing but here one interesting thing suppose the threads are the smallest unit of code okay to execute with the help of our memory like cpu all the processors and with the help of operating system okay okay we we can discuss in detail about that later but in simple terms suppose if you say if you say 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 it's it's very easy to calculate right it doesn't take much time what is the output 2 plus 2 4 very good fantastic now i will ask one more question 17 into 8 no problem you can calculate it and tell me no problem 136 136 very good very good fantastic 136 Okay, now tell me 17 into 19. Try to answer. Uh, sorry? 323. Sure? Yes, sir. 323. Okay, very good. Fantastic. Now I'm asking 117 into 998. Don't use a calculator. Just answer with your brain how much time it will take naturally suppose if you use a pen and paper and to calculate this with your brain and your with your own knowledge so here the point is so we are using a thread right thread so how we as a human will calculate something in our brain at the time we will use our resources and all the knowledge and nerves and all those things right in the same way this thread is very important to do the calculation at server side in the with the help of cpu and all these things so here two things are there one is input output okay sorry the applications are divided into mainly suppose uh, many, many things are there io operations and calculations or we can simply say that CPU intensive intensive tasks. Suppose I'm saying that I go and collect some food from 
uh, suppose chocolates are there suppose once you got a job or in your college you will distribute the chocolate right at that time you don't need to use uh, too much of your cpu uh, to hand over your one chocolate from one person to other person okay, because it, it's easy right you don't need to put your brain so but if you calculate 2 plus 2 it's easy if you calculate if you want to calculate 17 into 8 it will take some more time if you want to calculate 17 17 into 19 it will take much more time if you want to calculate 177 into 998 it will take some more extra time suppose if you want to calculate this one it will take much more time so that at the time at the time we need this thread because this thread is interacting with the cpu and all these things we, without thread without thread we can't do this calculation so at the time whenever we have a cpu intensive task suppose if you want to if you just give an instruction to the server that just calculate the factorial of some big number so that is really difficult to calculate at the time thread we need a thread thread should discuss with a cpu they are doing some operations okay how our brain will work the thread should be active thread should focus on that task only until it will complete that means in few situation thread should be there at the server only until that is completed okay that means see input output task is there it doesn't take much time it does, we don't need to wait any time it will do in a milliseconds okay milliseconds it will take only suppose uh, in terms of milliseconds suppose for example it will take one millisecond one millisecond to do an input output operation it will take one millisecond but cpu inter intensive task it will take maybe 10 milliseconds for example 10 millisecond suppose yes as you said if something happened to single thread okay that means the thread is not going to broke anything or something but maybe that thread is busy but suppose if you see if you design the project with the node.js and if you send a request that okay please calculate factorial of this big number at the time what will happen what will happen this thread we have only one thread that thread is completely busy for 10 minutes to calculate that calculation the factorial of that number at the time what will happen the application will slow down application need to wait until he complete this task and then come back but he is really smart that input output operation input output operation very good very good he will do everything perfectly fast how much fast you can he can do it but if you say that do calculation of 17 into 18 you need to take two or three minutes to calculate that that's the problem so now we should understand that in which situation we should go with a node.js tell me input output io so what is the input output or what is a cpu intensive tasks cpu intensive tasks so if it is input output so at the time node.js is the best option if it is a cpu intensive task in your application it's better to go with a java or c shop.net or python or any other okay understood understood or not yes sir only one person understood yes sir okay fantastic so okay it's already one and a four oh my god it's i don't i don't know how you are attending the class it's very difficult to stay okay, so at least from tomorrow onwards we should take a break uh, after 45 minutes if we are extending the session or we can complete in a one hour okay please okay whenever you feel uh, ragu please give me a break just definitely just ping me because as a trainer normally i will i will give a training for more than one, two hours continuously so that doesn't mean every student should sit for two hours okay it's really really tough i can understand that as a student it's very difficult for me to stay for more than 40 minutes as a trainer yeah i can do that's a different story that's a different passion okay but please tell me whenever you feel that ragu it's it's going too much time so we can take five minutes or ten minutes break and we can come back okay understood everyone the topic just say loudly understood or not 
Yes, sir. This yes, is sir. the most important yes, topic we should understand. Without understanding that, we maybe we can get a job. Okay, in in a in a job interview as a fresher, no one will ask these questions. No one will ask what is event loop. No one will ask what is Node JS. No one will ask what is the difference between Node JS and these things. But once you enter into the job and uh, suppose if you want to become a good programmer, if you want to do some great things, and even suppose if you have a two or three or five years ex gap after graduation. If you want to get a job, you should learn all these things. Okay, trust JavaScript, learn JavaScript. It will give you all the good things in your life. Okay, but today we didn't feel bored or topics or something exciting to learn. Yeah, fantastic. Of course, even though yes, sir, actually the yeah. class was so interesting today. Yeah, yeah, but even though class is interesting, we should take care of our health also because if you sit continuously for two hours. in future we will lose our health so we should take a break okay fantastic okay and the assignment for you is i'm not giving a big assignment the simple assignment just go and search in the google what are io intensive applications what are cpu intensive tasks okay just list out here five points whatever you understand whether it is right or wrong no problem just try to bring five points about input output inten intensive task or cpu intensive task why otherwise just search in which situation we should go with a node js in which situation we should go with a java okay if you understand that okay i'm we are not giving training just to get a job we should do some innovations we should do we can start our own companies if possible okay don't expect too much but we should do we should learn in that direction So who are watching this video in the YouTube? I definitely I don't expect that you are watching till the end. Whenever you are watching the YouTube video, <laughs> I don't know. But if you are watching, just in the comments, just tell me you guys understood or not. So that if you didn't understand, just ping me what you didn't understand. So that I will explain in the next session. Okay, that's all for today, and see you tomorrow. And uh, okay, uh, today what is the IPL match today between? Okay, no problem. I will check and see you tomorrow again. Bye bye. I am just stopping the presentation and I will stop the recording.